us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, from the high wire, please welcome friend of mine, a friend of yours, Mr. Dell Big Tree. I just want to say is a great quote because of this great man that sits on this seat behind me. Abraham Lincoln once said, we the people are the rightful masters of both Congress and the courts, not to overthrow the Constitution, but to overthrow the men who pervert the Constitution. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. We've heard from doctors and lawyers and people from all walks of life, every race, creed, religion, spiritual orientation, sexual orientation today. But here as a journalist, an Emmy Award winning journalist, I want to talk to the television cameras at NBC, at MSNBC, at Fox, at CBS. And I want to say shame on you. You had a right to tell the truth. We have an oath that we've made, just like scientists and doctors made, to tell the truth. And instead, you foisted a, a lie upon the United States of America and the world. And mark my words, we will hold Tony Fauci accountable. We will hold Deborah Brooks accountable. We will hold Joe Biden accountable. But unlike the Nuremberg trials that only tried those doctors that destroyed the lives of human beings, we are going to come after the press that lied to the world, that worked as a propaganda machine to push this. These people here today represent the majority of the United States of America. Your lies could not win. You only got 60% of this nation to take the vaccine, and most of them were under duress. That means more than 50% of the nation are not listening to you. And for those of you, for those of you that say, well, I did what I had to to protect my job, just know that was the same argument made by the Nazis that were tried. And for those of you that are standing here today, quietly, I know who you are. I know you work for the New York Times. I know you work for the Washington Post. And you are here trying to support us quietly. You should have written about us. You should have told the truth. Woo! And I have news for you. That job that you're protecting and these liars that you work for that I once worked for, I wasn't afraid to walk out. Instead, I came out to tell the truth. And I have news for you. The show that I created and that I speak on every day where I share the truth to over six million people per episode. That's right, six million, which means my audience is now bigger than yours. And it's growing every day. victorious in truth because we are endowed with one great power, the power of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, not given to us by this capital or by this government, but by God himself. We are the right warriors. We were the representation of our God, our God that inspired our founding fathers to write the greatest document for freedom and liberty that has ever been created. And you are trying to destroy it. Yes, you the media, and you the doctors that have gone along with it, and you politicians that refuse to listen to the people. Well, now you are running for the hills. The UK has left you. The world is leaving you. And in this stupid city where you're still pushing a vaccine mandate, you will go down. We are on the right side of history. God said to us, I have created you in the image and likeness of myself. And scientists are supposed to challenge every single idea. It's the scientific method. And the journalists of this world, we are supposed to adhere to that exact same mandate. We are the fourth estate. We are the fourth branch of government endowed without power by our founding fathers. And where we do not tell the truth, where we bow to those that pay us, instead of challenging our government, challenging the lies, challenging the industry that is trying to take our nation from us, instead of doing that, if we lie, then we are the disease, we are the pandemic. So as the media, 
as the media that owns that television. I don't care that pharma is paying you. I don't care that Joe Biden rolled out $4 billion to try to stop this. You have failed. Recognize it. Get back to the people. Get back to your master, which is God and not yes. pharma, not me. I want to take this moment right now, all of you unmasked super spreaders of truth. Yes, yes, yes. To realize that we took something for granted. We never thought they would actually go after it. We never thought they would take it out of our schools. We never thought they would take it out of our churches. But it is standing here. It is alive today. It is represented by every one of us. It is called freedom! It is so amazing. They now know that we are no longer a fringe group. We are no longer a thorn in their side. We are the leaders of the free world. And we are standing with our brothers and sisters who are marching like this all over the world. This was not, this was not a world war of one continent against another or half a nation or half a world against the other. For the first time in history, the governments of the world bowed down to their makers, their makers of man and money and profits. They bowed down and attacked every citizen in the world. So now the people rise up. Now we take back our nations. Now we make the statement that has always needed to be made. We stand for God. We are courageous in God. Because though we have walked through a dark valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. We fear no evil. We fear no evil. We fear no evil. evil. Because thou art with us.